Okay, back again talking about long division. This time going to look at problems that have two-digit divisors. So the question we're going to ask is, how does a two-digit divisor change a long division problem? Well, probably the biggest thing that we're going to talk about here is we're going to have to do a little bit more thinking with these problems. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's take 29 into 87. Now, that may seem like a, a little bit difficult uh, problem to do because those numbers aren't very friendly. But what we can do is estimate, and basically that's a, that's a way of saying that we're going to turn ugly numbers into nice, round, neat, pretty numbers. Uh, so instead of 29, how about we call that 30? And 87, I know, is really close to 90. Now all of a sudden I'm asking the question, how many 30s fit inside of 90? which is a little bit easier to think about. Well, 30, 60, 90, that's 30 times 3 gives us 90. So we'll go ahead and try 3 there. Now, I don't know if that's right. We'll have to multiply down to see, but at least it gives us a place to start, and that's what we're looking for. Now, aside from doing a little bit more thinking, the other thing that we're going to run into is trial and error. With these problems, you're going to have to plug a number in and then try it and see if it works. So here I have 29 into 87 again. This time I'm going to use another little trick here. Uh, something you can do is look at the first number um, of the divisor and the first number of the dividend and see how many times 2 goes into 8. Well, I know that goes 4, so maybe I can try 4 here. So I'll go ahead and get out my pencil, make sure I have plenty of erasers. And we'll go ahead and multiply down. 29 times 4 is 116. I know that's way too high. So probably what we're going to need to do is get rid of that and then go ahead and maybe try 3. 29 times 3 is 87, and there you go. So here's our problem. Um, 756 divided by 18. So we're going to divide. 18 doesn't go into 7, but it goes into 75. Well, let's go ahead and think about this here. 18 is really close to 20, and 75 is really close to 80. So I know that 80 or 20 goes into 80 four times, um, but I know 80 is a little bit too high. I'm only looking to get to 75 here, so maybe I'll try 3, and we'll multiply that down and see how it works. So one digit at a time, we multiply the 3 times the 8. That's going to give us 24. So we're going to go ahead and put the 4 there, and we're going to carry our 2. And we're going to go 3 times 1 plus that 2, and that's going to give us 5 for 54. Subtract and compare. Oh, 21. So you know that this number can't be equal or greater than the divisor, so I'm going to have to go back and start over here. 3 was too low, so this time we're going to try 4. Multiply that down, we get 4 times 8. That's going to give us 32. We're going to put our 2 and carry the 3. 4 times 1 plus 3 gives us 7, and we are ready to subtract. That's better. All right. Go ahead and bring down that 6. And then 18 into 36, hopefully you can figure out that's 2. 2 times 8 is going to give us 16. Carry that 1. 2 times 1 plus 1 is going to give us 3. And there we go. Now, what we can do here, if 756 divided by 18 is 42, then we can check our work using multiplication and say 42 times 18 should give us 756 if we are correct. So let's do that really quickly. 42 times 18, carry the 1, 336, don't forget that place holding 0. And then 1 times 2 gives us 2, 4. I'm going to add those up and there you go, 756. So we know that 42 is the correct answer. All right, let's look at another example here. Uh, this time we're going to go two digits into four digits, so it might look a little bit more intimidating, but it's really not that bad if we break it down. So 46 into 2, no, into 26, no, 46 into 266. Well, again, let's use mental math here and kind of estimate to make those numbers a little bit more friendly. I know that 46 is almost 50, 
And what am I going to do with 266? Well, I could turn that into 250. That's a nice round number. Or I could turn it into 300. So if I look at my number line here, I see that 266 is a little closer to 250. So why don't we go ahead and use 250 here and say that 266 is about 250. And then ask how many 50s fit inside 250. Well, let's go ahead and start with 5. And we multiply down, go this quickly, 5 times 6 is going to give us 30, put the 0, carry the 3, and 5 times 4 is going to give us 20, plus the 3 is 23, and we'll subtract and compare, 36, so we're okay. Let's go ahead and bring down that 8, now 46 into 368, I think it's time to estimate and make these numbers a little bit easier. So again, I know that 46 is almost 50. And if I look at my number line here, I have 368. That could either be 350 or 400. Well, I know that 368 is, again, a little closer to 350. So we'll go with 350. And we'll say how many 50s go into 350. Well, let's go ahead and start with 7 this time. Again, we're just going to try it. We'll see if it works. Multiply that down. 7 times 6 is going to give me 42. Carry my 4. 7 times 4, 28. Plus 4 is going to give me 32. So I'll go ahead and subtract and compare real quick. Uh-oh. That one didn't work out so well. Again, this number down here has to be less than my divisor. It is not, so I'm going to have to go and adjust that 7. And this time we'll go ahead and try 8. Again, this is trial and error. Get used to it. So 46 into 368, we're going to go 8 times. We'll multiply that down. 8 times 6 is going to give me 48. Carry my 4. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 4 gives me 36, and look at that. Subtract it down, 0. Let's go ahead and check our work. Again, if 2,668 divided by 46 is 58, then 58 times 46 better give me 2,668. So we'll use multiplication to check our work. 58 times 46. I'm going to go very quickly through this here. 48, carry my 4. Just give me 34. Don't forget that place holding 0. 4 times 8, then, is going to give me 32. I'm going to cross off that 4, pop the 3 up there. And then I have 23. Add those up real quick, and hopefully we'll end up with 2,668. There you go. So those match, so I know 58 is the correct answer. So... Uh, to go back to our original question, dividing by two-digit divisors is going to require uh, a little bit of mental math and a lot of trial and error. And the better you are at the mental math side of it, probably the less trial and error you'll have to uh, endure. So that's all for this time. Thanks for joining us. In the next episode, which will be our final episode on long division, we're going to be looking at problems that have uh, decimals in the divisor. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Take care.